Sunshine and warmer temperatures will make a strawberry as sweet as it can be. We'll even make sugar jealous. When you taste that strawberry that you have picked as opposed to what you might find in the grocery store, a smile will come to your face. When you remember those pictures that you have taken, the kids being dirty, or the kids with strawberry juice coming down their chin, it's the living of life that makes it so special. The only reason we set strawberries is because we like strawberries. So nothing particular scientific about it. We just like berries, and other people should if we do. When we set the first strawberries in 1976, we set about 3,000 plants in four-tenths of an acre. That grew to an acre. That grew to two acres. Ultimately, it went up to about six acres. And then we started paring down some when we moved from the matted row system, where we just planted plants on the bare ground, to what's called plasticulture. And here, on two and a half acres of plasticulture, we can produce more berries than we could on six acres of bare ground. When we form beds, we have a machine that forms a bed, puts drip irrigation down, which is like a soaker hose, puts plastic over top of that bed, seals that bed, and also puts a fumigant or a soil sterilizer into the ground. Sunshine and warmer temperatures will make a strawberry as sweet as it can be. We'll even make sugar jealous. We are very fortunate to have a soil that is high in potassium. Potassium adds a sweet taste to almost anything that you raise on it. So if somebody were to buy the same strawberry plant from the same producer as us and put it on some other different soil type, I can guarantee you their strawberries would not be as sweet as ours. It's simply the soil. The sunshine, the heat in the soil makes a strawberry that'll put to shame any berry you want to buy in the grocery store. I pick them and my wife makes freezer jam out of them so we can enjoy them all year round. They certainly taste a lot better than what's available in the local stores, so just the taste is much better, fresher. We make a bunch of jelly and it, it lasts us all year and then have to come back and start again. <laughs> Remembering back, a lot of folks would bring their grandchildren out here. Now these people come out and tell us, I'm bringing my children here because my grandmother or my granddaddy brought me. So yes, some people have been coming for years and years. It's part of who they are, what they do. Well, she's been I, trying to straighten me out for 35 years. But I'm not married to him. I just work for him now. Oh, okay. You may not see them, but here at the farm, but you're glad to see each other. We ask how the year has been. It's, we encourage almost the old courthouse front yard or front porch mentality where folks would sit and whittle if you remember that when you were growing up. And so we tell stories here, we tell lies here, but we enjoy each other. Like hunting Easter eggs. Strawberries are my favorite of all the fruits, so it is worth it to me. But I didn't know they had such a following and so many people picking. There are times I know we have at least 200 people a day out here. During the process of a eight to nine week season. There will be thousands of people in here from multiple counties. We even have people who plan their vacations to come here and visit family during strawberry season. We have people who take every year strawberries up to Michigan, to Minnesota, strawberries down to Alabama and Georgia, strawberries into South Carolina. They coordinate their visiting family or vacation so they can pick strawberries. I know it is going to be like this, I'd worn my boots. <laughs> With all the rain we have had, it has created standing water on occasions in some of these rows. Folks know to expect this. They laugh about it. They say, I brought my boots today. I learned last time. We do keep a hose back here so we can wash them off if we need to. We wash people's feet off, their boots off. We have mud scrapers down here. But 
The mud is real. We started with strawberries, but by the late 1970s, we looked for a companion crop and we started setting broccoli. Broccoli has become a rather popular crop here, even folks lining up when it comes in. We're constantly getting requests at the picking stand, when will the broccoli be here? When will the broccoli be here? So we set about 1,500 plants this year. And as time has increased, we've started with cauliflower, cabbage, romaine lettuce. One of the big surprises has been the beets. We're up to now probably selling 40 or 45 bushels of beets every year that come in during the same time frames as strawberries do. Plus green onions, yellow crookneck squash, zucchini squash, all of which comes in during strawberry season. This is something you love and you do it because it gives you fulfillment. I enjoy the challenge. I enjoy the people as a rule. I enjoy raising things, seeing things grow. It's physical, it's mental, it's spiritual. It just adds everything to my life that I'm looking for. I would hope through the years that there would be more folks who would dedicate their ground to staying green, that people can come and say, I can remember what life's all about. And that's what we hope to offer. So we do see that from grandparents bringing grandchildren out to mama and daddy's bringing children on their backs out. Even when my boys were small, I would put them on a backpack on my back and come out and hoe in the strawberries. This type of memory is important. It helps define who we are, and it should. I'll be back for more of these as well. Okay, we'll be waiting for you. Okay, you guys have a blessed day. You, you too. too. As people check in to the picking stand so we can weigh their containers before they go into the field, we tell them that they're welcome to sample. Don't make a meal on us. We tell the lady folks that you would not buy a dress without trying it on. It's okay. All right, heads, let's keep going. Come on. When the kids come out with red on their teeth and strawberry juice down their chin, we always ask them how the strawberries tasted. It's okay. The strawberry field's a place to be enjoyed. Let's do it.